Cool. Hey, Danny. Hey, Sarah. Rob and Brian here for RHAP. First off, uh, congratulations to you both on the big win. Uh, it was certainly a wild finale that we all watched uh, last night. I guess, uh, Sarah, can we start with uh, what was the feeling for you to, I, I guess you had thought that you lost. They tell you you are the winner of the show. Right. That, and uh, that's the second time this week that that's happened remember we uh, yeah <laughs> people don't want to hear about that <laughs> i beat robin fantasy football earlier this week but anyway um no so yeah um it, it's unbelievable like i was devastated getting to the top and and thinking like um that i that i let this slip through and um you know i was proud of myself for finishing but it wasn't the ultimate what I wanted. And uh, then to find out, I'm like, it, it was insane. Like I, I literally, both Danny and I couldn't believe we were the only two to finish. We were like, what is going on? Um, we were too, that was one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was the vibe when you regrouped with everyone else? Like you're, like you're leaving, what was the conversation that you all had about what went down? Like what was the, what was the vibe amongst all the other finalists? Well, I mean, as as the winners, you know, we, we got to kind of see and kind of ask them, hey, so so what happened to you guys? Because we were able to get it done. So so why weren't you? And to hear the stories that kind of went on, especially with Kayla, uh, what it, what they didn't show is the story I got was she was hypothermic at, at the time and she had to be put into an ambulance and she was she was really cold. So she didn't want to quit. I think her body just gave out on her. Um, and that just kind of explains to us like, oh, you know, we finished, but it was really cold at that point. So kind of helped us understand like why people weren't able to finish and why they, why they, you know, tapped out. You know, we saw so many people drop off uh, towards the end of the final leg that for either of you, did either of you have a moment when you were close to also uh, tapping out? Nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. no. I, I mean, maybe not Danny, but yeah, I think, I think it's normal though, to feel that like, uh, when we were in the swim, I had a moment of panic also. I mean, uh, the waves were huge and, uh, they were hitting us in the face and whatnot. And, and it can be scary out there. I'm not a great swimmer. Um, so, I mean, I wasn't going to quit, but there are definite like doubtful situations where you're like, can I do this? And, um, but it's working through those and not giving up is, is how you end up being successful is because if you, if you do quit, then you can't win. And so you have to figure a way to work through those doubts. And, um, so Danny, if you ever have a doubt, you can work through it, buddy. Listen, I, I, I always like to brag about playing the, uh, I was playing for the, uh, Cowboys 2014. We went to go play the Chicago bears coldest game that I've ever been a part of negative 10 degrees. We're out there for four hours, negative 10 degrees. So if it ain't worse than that, then, then, then I'm able to complete it. So, so shout out to the bears. <laughs> <laughs> so, so daddy, it seemed like you obviously saved your best performance for the final. Was there any part of you that was trying to like play down your abilities? Obviously you're coming in with a huge target for an NFL player. It's hard to like to play down your threat level, but were you going a little easy in the beginning to not create such a larger target on yourself? No, I, I, I wouldn't say it's going easy. I think you just have to understand where you are in the game, uh, who your partners are at a certain time, what your, what your best skills are. I know I'm not a great swimmer. So when I see something that has to do with swimming, I'm like, don't come in last depend on your relationships. When I see something where I'm saying, I'm going to be able to run, that's the one you have to go hard on. Unfortunately, the one that Kylan won where he was able to run, I was up on the balance beam, right? So I'm like, I get another shot eventually. So not panicking, uh, but I knew my time would come. I want to ask you both about one of the controversial moments from the episode. So Angela, she's solo for the overnight leg. She says, okay, I'm, I'm going to go opt out. I'm going to go uh, and uh, go to sleep. Uh, they wake up and they tell her she's out, of course. Uh, did either of you have strong feelings on whether or not that was a fair decision? Because there's been a lot of people talking about that this morning. Well, yeah, so if she actually didn't say I'm going to um, opt out. She says I quit. Like when you go, when you watch her, she goes in the tent, like they put the words at the bottom of her saying I quit. So, but um, anyway, 
uh, no, I think we all knew like there's a sign that says the task at hand. And um, when she decided to opt out, um, I went and read the sign and it says that you have to move this dirt in order to get these bags or the combination to unlock these bags and you have to have those bags to continue. And so I'm like, well, that's like your key to start your car. If you don't get your key to start your car, your car ain't going anywhere. So, um, you know, and then especially like Desi and Enzo didn't get to opt out of the swim. Kayla couldn't just come in last on the food. She still had to eat it all. So it's, I mean, we, we've all seen the show. You, you have to participate. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead, Danny. Yeah, I, I don't feel strongly about it. You know, listen, at the end of the day, it helped us out. It put more money back in the pot. Um, so whatever rule they came up with worked out for me. So I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm all right with it. Uh, mm -hmm. Want to go to mis miscalculation? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah, so we saw a lot of the time, a lot of the strong people wanting to work together. And it was surprising me that you and Angela just could never get on the same page as two of the strongest females in the house. Why do you think you two kept butting heads and really couldn't come together as two of the strongest women to push each other to the end? What, what went wrong with your two's relationship? Right. So um, I was working with her. Angela and I were super close um, until uh, Tyson and Cash threw me into the elimination. And after that, it's like, you know, uh, where do we go from here? So yeah, I did. I felt like me, Angela, Tyson, Ben, and Kylan, we had a group that we called the core and we all wanted to go to the end and, and have the strong people there. But, uh, you know, then, then they turned on me. Um, and so I guess, you know, somehow it, it winds up like, uh, oh, it's Sarah not wanting to work with Angela or, or Tyson when in, <laughs> you guys are the ones that turned on me. I didn't turn on y'all. Danny, uh, it was a big part of your story this season, how much uh, you brought Kiki into things. Uh, I think everybody uh, liked, uh, of course, getting to see her finally in the finale. Um, how has all of this fame gone to uh, Kiki's head? <laughs> and uh, that with Rex Ryan on The Amazing Race uh, this season, is that what's next for you two? <laughs> no, let me, Kiki's not a competitor like me. Uh... But she she is enjoying the extra attention. Uh, she enjoys it. She's a super fan. So just for her to be a part of the show, she's she's been you know through the roof about it. So I'm I'm super happy and excited for her. Uh, but no big head. But she does want to talk to TJ. Okay. <laughs> Danny, any thoughts of trying to craft together your highlights from this season and you know sending around to some NFL teams? You got to get a little comeback <laughs> tour started. You get a big win here. You obviously still got it. Any uh, any NFL well, teams might come calling? Let, let me tell you something. For as hard as the challenge was, it has nothing on playing the game of, of football in the NFL. Mm -hmm. not, not, not even close. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you two are the winners here of Challenge USA. It's been talked about how, okay, this is just the, the qualifier for uh, the Challenge World Championships. Uh, that are, are both of you committed to participating in uh, the, the World Challenge at some point? I am. Uh, I am. Uh, I believe, sir. Sir, I want to. Yeah, speak yeah, up. for sure. Okay. We've, been, we've been we've been working out together, sharing our workouts to make sure that we're prepared and ready to go. Okay. Who do you each? Who do you want to join you? Who would be your top two if you had to make sure like these two people come along? Who do you want to join the team USA? For, from our season? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, for for me, uh, I, I would probably say uh, Tyson on the men's side. And it's a kind of a toss up between uh, Desi and Angela uh, for, on the women's side. Uh, and, and Justine, it's, the women's side was so strong. It's just, it, it's, it's difficult to pick one of those, but you know, Tyson on the men's side for sure. Okay. All yeah, right. um, honestly, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I'll work with anybody on any show as long as we have the common goal of winning uh, and, and you know, we can accomplish that. Um, it's okay if we don't talk outside the show, but let's go in there and just whoop up. Okay. All right. Congrats. Congratulations again to uh, both of you on a uh, job well done and all the best outside the show. Okay. All right. Thanks, bro. Thanks, okay. Sean. Bye.